Hi everyone, today's topic is population genetics. Obviously, there are two words that made up this study, population and genetics. We have discussed about genetics in one way or another to explain, describe or predict an individual. But genetic principle can also be used to explain, describe or predict entire population of individuals. In short, population genetics explains and studies how a group's genetic composition changes over time. Now let's look at the learning outcomes for this topic. The first part, you have to understand the definition of population genetics, gene pools, early frequencies and genetic equilibrium. And for the second part, we are going to discuss Hardy-Weinberg law, the five assumption of Hardy-Weinberg for genetic equilibrium, and how to calculate allele and genotype frequency. Now let's play a game. You may pause this video for a few minutes, copy the URL or scan the QR code. Good luck! For a quick review, let's have a look at this video on bird's population. Do take note the terminology such as population, phenotype, genotype, allele, dominant, homozygous and heterozygous. In any population of a species, you'll see variations. The phenotype of these birds are red and blue. The genotype in this case is a big B for the red allele and a little b for the blue allele. Because red is dominant, red birds can be homozygous or heterozygous for the trait and still be red. Population genetics is the study of evolution from a genetic point of view. When evolution in a population occurs at the genetic level, it's sometimes called microevolution. It's a change in the collective genetic material of a population. Recall that a population is a group of individuals of the same species that routinely interbreed. Populations are the smallest unit in which evolution will occur. Many people mistakenly think that evolution occurs in one individual, but actually it happens among a group, a species. There is some difficulty in defining a species, but we'll start with the biological concept of a species. It's a group of individual organisms that are capable of interbreeding to produce fertile offspring in nature. Now, some animals of different species will breed in captivity, but not in the wild, so the biological concept is specific enough to keep these as unique species. What is population genetics? Population genetics is a tool to study evolution. Biological evolution is change over time in the genetic composition of populations, such as the changing shape of the finch beaks over generation. It is the genetic changes that underpin these phenotypic changes. Believe it or not, it involves fairly simple and straightforward mathematical model to describe and predict the genetics of a population, which is known as Hardy-Weinberg equation, where we need to calculate the frequency of genotype and frequency of allele. A frequency is a percentage, but written in a decimal value. Population genetics describe the genetic structure of a population. So do bear in mind, it is not about the genetic composition of one individual. It is about the genetic composition of a group of individuals that made up a population. Population is defined as group of individuals of the same species occupying a given area that can interbreed and produce fertile offspring in nature. 
Well, genetic structure refer to the genotypes and alleles of all the individuals that made up the population. Genotype frequency refer to how often do certain allelic combination appear in the population. So let's say we have this tulip population. The genotype for white tulip is homozygous recessive, small r, small r. The genotype for pink tulip, heterozygous, which is capital R and small r. And for the red tulips, the genotype is given as capital R and capital R. Without further explanation, I would like you to observe and try to understand how to calculate the genotype frequency for this population. Allele frequency refer to how often does an individual allele appear in a population. Again, I want you to observe and try to understand how to calculate allele frequency for the same population. I hope by now you already have an idea what population genetics is all about. So let's define a couple of terms such as gene pool, early frequencies, and genetic equilibrium because these terminologies are very much related to hardy weinberg law. Now let's view this video in order to understand what is meant by gene pool. Any population will have variations among the individuals. Often, when you plot the trait and the number of individuals, you get a shape called a bell curve or a normal curve. This shape indicates that the average traits are the most common and the extremes are less common. There are several causes of variation in any population. Environmental factors like the amount or quality of food available, the pH of the soil, and so on, will have an effect on the traits of organisms. Mutations, which are random changes in DNA, will also provide variation. Genetic recombination, which is the shuffling of genes during crossing over and independent assortment in meiosis. And lastly, the random pairing of gametes during fertilization. Which sperm, which egg will pair up? It's random. All of these variations in a population will make up the gene pool. Nah, it's not a pool like a swimming pool. It's the total genetic information in a population. All of the alleles in that population make up the gene pool. Each population of a species will have some differences in their gene pool, which can make a difference in how they evolve and adapt in their environments. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet. In the previous topic, we have discussed about how he or she might pass their alleles to the next generation. Each individual in a population have two allele combination that made up different genotype either homozygous dominant, heterozygous or homozygous recessive individuals. A population will have all the possible allele in it, which is called as gene pool. So, population genetic is a study of all alleles in a population. Genetic structure refer to the alleles frequencies and genotype frequencies of group of individuals of the same species 
that could mate with each other because they live in the same area. So not much of individual expect, but population genetic focus on the particular population. What is gene pool? Let's look at this example. Can you complete this sentence? I will give you a few seconds to count the number of individuals and identify the gene for this population. Have you got the answer? This gene pool made up of 17 individual organisms with gene A. The collection of all the alleles of gene A found within a freely interbreeding population is known as gene pool of the population. Each member of the population receives its allele from their parents and passes them to their offspring in the next generation, meaning every new individual born into the population changes the genetic composition of this population. What is allele frequency? Allele frequency describes how often does an individual allele appear in a gene pool. There are two possible ways to calculate the allele frequencies. Firstly, we need to count the number of dominant alleles and also the number of recessive alleles in this gene pool. As for frequency of dominant allele, the number of dominant alleles divide with the total number of both dominant alleles and recessive alleles. Same goes for frequency of recessive alleles. The number of recessive alleles divide with the total number of both dominant alleles and recessive alleles. Or we can use the genotype which are easier to count by their observable phenotypes. For this population, there are six red bugs with homozygous dominant genotype, capital A, capital A, another six orange bugs with heterozygous genotype, capital A, small a, and also four yellow bugs with homozygous recessive genotype, small a, small a. So altogether, there are 16 bugs in this population. To calculate a particular genotype frequency, the number of each particular genotype divided by the total number of individuals in the population. We can check all the genotype frequency for the population because the sums of all the frequencies homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive should always equal 1. Phenotype is based on observations. For example, in this population, there are red and white flowers. So from the number of individuals for each phenotype, we can determine the genotype frequencies and also calculate the allele frequencies. The genetic composition of the population can be altered due to mating, the migration of individuals in and out of the population, or the death of individuals. What we can conclude here, the gene composition in this gene pool is not constant as the allele frequency always change from one generation to generation. In each generation, genotypes break down into individual alleles during gametogenesis. Having been shuffled by segregation and recombination during meiosis, and also possibly changed by mutation, two alleles from each male and female gametes come back together in new mixes and this reoccur in the following generation. It is the alleles that is continuous from generation to generation. So it is the allele frequency that truly describes a gene pool, not the genotype frequency. When a population reach equilibrium, it means that the genotype frequency stay constant from generation to generation 
in a population. Population genetics is the study of genetic composition of natural population. It seeks to understand how this composition has been changed over time by the forces of genetic drift, non-random mating, mutation, migration, and natural selection that can alter the allele frequencies. In the next video, you will learn how to calculate allele and genotype frequencies.